World's Ocean Day is on 8th of June, and it's an opportunity for all of us to celebrate and honour our ocean. Our ocean and waterways are really important because they provide vital stuff for us, like air, food and water. But our oceans are not just important to us, they are also important for all of the creatures that live in it. The world's ocean covers more than 70% of our planet. And because so much of the Earth's surface is underwater, marine species vastly outnumber those on land. It's an incredible 94% of the Earth's living species that exist within the oceans. The ocean is also important for humans like us. The ocean provides the majority of oxygen we breathe, food we eat, it cleans the water we drink, and most importantly, helps regulate our climate. Unfortunately, over the last 100 years, a huge amount of rubbish has ended up in our oceans, with plastic being one of the most common ocean pollutants. The majority of this plastic doesn't get dumped into our oceans right away, but instead is discarded on land, where it easily makes its way into drains and gutters and rivers, which all then run into the ocean. Around 80% of plastic pollution enters the ocean from the land. Every year, 6.4 million tonnes of plastic is dumped into our oceans. This is the same weight as 20,000 jumbo jets. This has massive effects on animals, which rely on our oceans. Around 1 million seabirds and 100,000 marine mammals are killed each year due to plastic ingestion. Plastic pollution in our oceans are like an iceberg. For every piece you see on the top, there is much, much more hiding below. It is estimated that every square mile of ocean has more than 45,000 pieces of plastic floating in it. Did you know that scientists predict that by the year 2050, the weight of plastic waste will be greater than the total weight of fish in our oceans? This is because plastic doesn't break down in the way most other materials do. A plastic cup takes up to 80 years to decompose. A plastic cup is made up of non-renewable materials as its basic components. This material does not degrade, which is why plastic cups continue to exist up to now. But it's not all doom and gloom. We can still fix this problem. Most or all of the recycled plastic can be used to make things such as park benches, trash cans, decks, playground equipment and kayaks among other things. Recycled plastic bottles can also be used to make special fleece-like fabrics which are used in blankets and clothes, but only if we learn how to recycle properly. So here's a few tips. Plastic bags in curbside recycling bins is the biggest recycling mistake made by Australians. So make sure your recycling is loose in the recycling bins. You should also empty and rinse out any food from takeaway containers before putting them into the recycling bin. A lot of us may not know that both aluminium and glass can be recycled almost infinitely. So scrunch your clean alifoil into a ball and place this in with your recycling. Make sure that you do recycle what you can by not putting recyclables into the general waste bins. Up to 67% of the contents of an average household's rubbish bin could have been kept out of the landfill and used for more imaginative purposes. Did you know that the energy saved by recycling one plastic drink bottle can power a computer for 25 minutes? Other things considered to be non-renewable can actually have many components recycled, such as batteries and printer cartridges. But recycling is not the only thing we need to do to fix our world's oceans. It's very important that we also pick up any rubbish we see and participate in community cleanups. Remember that around 80% of plastic pollution enters the ocean from the land via our rivers and waterways. And World's Ocean Day is the perfect day to start. If you would like to participate in World Ocean Day, then visit www.worldsoceanday.org to find an event in your community where we can all appreciate our big, beautiful blue oceans. This video is produced by Oka IT, Activate One and Rapport, and commissioned by the Townsville Local Marine Advisory Committee.